OMG, Scott, I just dropped Penelope off at ballet and you wouldn't believe who I saw at Whole Foods. What are you drinking? Um, only the best carbonated drink known to man, Mountain Dew. Scott, throw that out right now. Do you have any idea how bad that is for you? All my girlfriends have been talking about it. It reduces your sperm count and it can make you impotent. Anytime Cory brings up anything about from her girlfriends, it always turns out to be wrong. Come on, Courtney, I doubt that's really true. I mean... What did I just say? I'm putting my foot down right now. It's either me or the Mountain Dew, so choose. Bible. What are you doing? I'm thinking about it, don't rush me. Oh my God, Scott, can you be serious for one minute in your life? Dave, hey, honestly, what could be in this thing that's so bad? I mean, just look at the ingredients on this thing. It's 52 milligrams of caffeine. That's so much. Yeah, but don't all soft drinks have caffeine in them? I mean, like, even the Pepsi you're drinking just now does. Everybody knows Pepsi's safe for you. For God's sake, Scott, Kendall was in one of their commercials. Look, there's only 38 milligrams of caffeine in a can. That's a big difference. And this is in milligrams. That's like a million grams per, for each one. Wow, is that really how it works? Uh, duh. And look at the last ingredient here. It just says color. Like, that's not a real ingredient, is it? Oh my God, look for it. And I just Googled another image for the ingredients of Mountain Dew, and it doesn't say color here. It says yellow five now is the last ingredient. What? That's not in Pepsi, Coke, or anything. That's so sus, Scott. We have to get to the bottom of this. Oh my God, Scott, it's just like I said. These people are talking about how you can make it can make you impotent. Just look. Seriously, Courtney, these are just a bunch of Yahoo Answers results. Scott, those are literally real people on there, okay? They know what they're talking about. Here, there's even a post on Reddit. I've heard that's where all the smart people go. Holy crap, this one even says you can use it as a contraceptive. You know what that means, right? No more pulling out. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny genius. Well, it also says it can shrink your penis too. <laughs> I've been a little worried about Scott lately and he's just been like really down. So I thought I'd check on him and just go in the living room and see what's up. Oh my god, hey Scott! Wait, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Do you guys know me? There's only really two things I have going for me. My sense of humor and my endowment. And when I looked at that bathroom mirror, my whole world came crashing down. I don't know, I mean, I was just drinking Mountain Dew and then Courtney came in talking about her girlfriends and just stupid rumors. And then he mentioned something about Mountain Dew shrinking your penis. We went online and searched it. I freaked out, I went to the bathroom, dropped my pants and God behold, they were right, okay? Scott, you need to calm down. I don't think that's true at all. I think you should go take a nap or take a shower. I'm gonna do some research for you, but that's not true. Scott, like, I, I think you need to go. Let's go, come on, buddy. I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and help out for and Scott, because I don't think this is true. So I'm gonna call up some of my friends and do some research of my own and help them out. Scott, there you are, come here. Look, I just did a lot of research on this whole Mountain Dew thing and look at what I found. Basically, these myths about Mountain Dew have been around for a long time and got so popular that even the Wall Street Journal had an article in the late 90s to debunk it. The rumors regarding its effects on sperm levels and penis size were spreading like wildfire, up to the point where there were even reports of teenagers having unsafe sex thinking that Mountain Dew could be used to prevent pregnancy. But even after all these years, the rumors have still stuck around, and Vice just recently published a similar article debunking this. Basically, they detailed how in 2008, lawmakers in Florida even pushed for a more comprehensive approach to sexual education after it was determined by survey results that some teens believed that drinking a shot of Mountain Dew could actually prevent pregnancy. So not only are these rumors about Mountain Dew completely silly, but could also be very harmful to the people who believe them. Huh, so does that mean like the other ingredients are dangerous after all? Like what about the really high caffeine content? 
Caffeine, as you may know, is found in tons of store-bought drinks. And while Mountain Dew might have more than most soft drinks, it still has a lot less than a regular cup of coffee. There have actually been a lot of scientific studies investigating caffeine's effects on sperm in humans, and there is no proven relation between caffeine intake and male infertility. In fact, a few studies actually found caffeine consumption to increase sperm motility in men. Wow, talk about false advertising. That's like the opposite of contraceptive. Okay, but what, like, what about that yellow five stuff? What's that stuff about? Yep, I looked into that too. Yellow dye number five, also known as tartrazine, is the unique chemical that makes Mountain Dew appear yellow, but it's not dangerous to your penis or sperm. In fact, it's completely FDA approved and found in tons of other foods, like mustard, noodles, cereal, and even lots of pharmaceutical and cosmetic products. A recent study by the European Food and Safety Authority actually investigated its toxic effects by reviewing many other scientific studies, and it concluded that there was no reason to revive its current acceptable daily intake limit. It evaluated studies that directly exposed animals to extremely high tartrazine doses, thousands of times more than what the average human will consume in a day, but there was no indication of adverse effects on reproduction or development. So once again, you've got nothing to worry about. Wow, kid, you really learned your stuff now. I told you, but if you don't believe me, let me call my friend Dr. Oz. He literally knows everything. Hello, Dr. Oz here. Hey, Mehmet, it's Kim again. I was just calling because I have Scott here beside me, and I just wanted you to tell him what you were telling me about the whole Mountain Dew issue, but he's here. Sure thing, Kiki. Well, I looked into it myself, and there are no reliable studies that keep out due to male infertility or penis shrinkage or anything of that nature. So Scott and Courtney will be happy to know that they can go ahead drinking Mountain Dew, easy free, no worries about it. Okay, baby girl? Thank you so much, Mehmet. Have a great day. You too, sweetheart. See you. Bye. See, I told you, Scott. As usual, I saved the day. Everything's fine. Whew, well, that's a relief. I told you there was nothing to worry about, Scott. Yeah, Kim, you were right. I guess we were overreacting after all. That's nothing like us, is it? It's not. Let's go get a salad. Thank you.